This is a presentation from the I7 Group of Hospitals, New Delhi. In this video demonstration, we will be talking about toric ICL insertion. The rule of the thumb for ICL use is very simple. Any patient with a refractive error who is not a suitable candidate for LASIK may be considered for ICL. The only considerations to be remembered are anterior chamber depth and the endothelial counts. The indications include high myopia more than 10 diopters, hyperopia more than 5 diopters, with AC depth of more than 2.8 mm and cylinder greater than 3.5 diopters. Thin corneas less than 450 microns and stable keratoconus patients after collagen cross-linkage may also be considered for ICL implantation. ICLs are available in the range of minus 3 to minus 23 diopters, from plus 1 to plus 12 diopters. Toric ICLs are available from 2 to 7 diopters, with minus 23 diopters correcting up to minus 19.5 diopters of myopia. Pre-placed reference marks are there on the eye, and now two side ports have been made. We are now making the main incision with the diamond knife which is 3 mm in dia the ICL is being loaded onto the cartridge and the ICL is now pulled into the nozzle of the cartridge we are now going to place the axis marks and this is at 10 degrees and you can see the axis marks now the ICL is now being inserted into the eye through a wound assisted delivery. The ICL should open out parallel to the iris plane and it opens out in front of the iris. After this, the haptics are tucked under the iris and the pupil constricted with carbocol. We prefer vitrectomy PIs and two vitrectomy PIs are being made here and the viscoelastic is removed with simple irrigation the use of a vitrectomy cutter for a peripheral iridectomy has several advantages it is a single stage procedure with clean cuts and minimal pigment dispersion and consequently has greater patient comfort and acceptability. The critical concerns with ICL use include cataract, endothelial cell loss, ocular pressure elevation and ICL rotation. Vaulting is the clearance of the central part of the ICL from the crystalline lens. High walls of more than a thousand microns and low walls of less than 200 microns must be avoided as both are associated with complications. This image shows a normal vault with the entire ICL contour. The incidence of cataract reported in literature following ICL use is under 1%. And in our centre, with more than 760 ICLs implanted, we have seen two cases of cataract, both in the two eyes of the same patient. This image shows a contact between the ICL and the crystalline lens. This clinical photograph shows a rotated ICL, which had to be replaced by a bigger one in order to compensate for the shallow vault. Thank you.